Okay, here's an arc secant. Here's an arc secant. And when you're solving an arc secant problem, again, you're looking for that U value inside. And I've got a U value here, just like I have a U value here. And then just follow and, and plug in the things that we need to plug in. So I'm going to let U equal 5x to the fourth. I need du dx, so I'm going to let du dx do its work here. And that's going to be 20x cubed. And then just substitute all the u's and the dx derivatives in where they belong. Uh, so it's, it's not a horribly painful deal, it's just a little bit different. So what is it going to look like? 1 over the absolute value of u. The absolute value of 5x to the fourth times the square root of u squared minus 1 times the derivative. So what have we got? We've got 20x cubed over, now here's the cool thing, use your brain, this guy right here, we're taking a value of x and making it, uh, using it to the fourth power. So any time that you take that value of x and go to the fourth power, you will get a positive number. And so what we can get out of that guy then is 5x to the fourth. So you have to pay attention on that, because there will be instances where we have to leave the absolute value signs in. Square out the inside here, 25x to the 8th minus 1. And then go ahead and reduce. You can reduce these guys. Okay, you can reduce these guys, so go ahead and do it. Uh, 20 divided by 5 is 4. And then the x cubed and x to the fourth leave us an x on the bottom. And there's your derivative. Not uh, not a horribly painful, uh, awful thing to live through. But there is a little formula to use, and it's one that you can do. What about you try this guy? Find the derivative of the arc secant. of 3 halves x to the 1 half. Let's see what you come up with.